Hey y'all, we are cleaning a very messy house today. Um, we have not cleaned cleaned in a few days. So realistically, since we've been doing a lot of things outside or home projects inside, we take maybe one or two days out of the week and do a home reset. So that is what we are doing today. I'm actually going to start by opening all the windows and then turning off all the heaters because it feels so good outside it's warm but it's windy so i feel like all the good fresh air is going to come in and also i am going to start out in the living room because we have a huge amount of laundry to fold also i'm going to start a load of laundry and then we'll be done with our laundry I probably now only wash laundry like once a week, so I have a bunch <laughs> to fold. Chloe is so happy back on her side of the living room. I should have thought about it whenever I moved, like rearranged stuff in the living room because she is a dog and they form habits and routines. And when those routines change, it can be difficult on them. So I think that's why she was still going to that side of the living room, even though she had another bed on the other side. She just wanted to keep her routine, and I don't blame her. So, I cracked the window open over there, but just a little bit. Not enough that she could crawl through, because I've never seen her try to jump out of a window before. But, I'm not going to take any chances either, because the window that she's sitting out, our front yard, sits up a, a lot higher than the backyard. I don't know how high off the ground the windows are from the yard, but I know in the backyard it's significantly closer to the ground. I'll see the wind blowing. I don't know if you can, but it was just blowing my hair. Anyways, um, I'm going to start that load of laundry. And then I'm going to get working on this big pile of clothes over there. It always looks bigger than it is because I forget that there are four huge pillows on the love seat. So maybe it's not going to take us as long as I uh, thought it was going to take us. Also, when I'm cleaning lately um, or doing any work at all, I like to listen to music and I have been listening to Christian music on Spotify. I never even thought about this, but K-Love also has a site where they play their like radio station. I may do that today. That would be kind of fun. So I'll see. Anyways, let's get the laundry started. I recently switched to the Persil um, liquid laundry detergent and this one says uh, deep clean on it. This stuff makes your clothes smell so good. And yes, I do feel like my clothes are cleaner. I love Gain laundry detergent, but I think this Persil is a little bit better than that. Um, it just, it does a really good job and it smells amazing. So if you 
haven't tried it but you've thought about trying it i would say go ahead and give it a shot it won't hurt anything um and i didn't notice any kind of sensitivities either some laundry detergent i've used um, will cause like a allergic reaction um and then i kind of get over it within a couple of weeks of using it but this one is i've never used it before and my skin reacted fine i had no breakouts or anything All right, so the hallway is one of those areas where I kind of just dump things until I'm ready to put them where they actually go. So I brought a couple of things back in my office, um, which we will be painting soon. Uh, probably the video after the next video, because the next video is going to be an Easter cook with me and like kind of spend Easter with us so that we can all hang out together if any of y'all um just want somebody to watch on the tv if you maybe not have somewhere to go or if family has passed away then i think it's just awesome to have somebody on the tv that can spend easter with you so that's the plan for tomorrow um anyways there is this basket of clothes as well <laughs> wait um a lot of this is underwear and socks and for me anyways, which y'all will see later on in the video, um, I don't fold my socks um, or underwear or anything like that. So I just put it all in a white basket and that's where I pick from every day to find stuff to wear undergarments. And Aaron, I used to fold his socks, but I'm like, well, I mean, I just find two socks that match and he does the same thing so i don't actually put the socks together y'all <laughs> i know yeah i've been promoted you are now one of my elite employees <laughs> i love that thing um that if you're on tiktok then you know especially if you're on my same for you page as me 
I had to do it. That was so random. And half of you are probably like, what in the world just happened? Did a commercial puff on? <laughs> it's like the 1-800-YOU'VE-GOT-MAIL. <laughs> Anyways, um, I figured I need to entertain y'all while we're doing this because it would be kind of boring to just sit there and watch me fold laundry and then not have anything to talk about. <laughs> So, for those of you that are sit down and watch the videos, this is more entertaining. Those of you that are up cleaning, every now and then you might be like, I wish she would be quiet so I could just enjoy the music. Um, anyways, sorry. Not the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spicy ricey today. Anywho, what was I going to tell y'all before I got sidetracked? Oh, so I don't, I don't fold his socks. He can fold his own socks if he wants to. <laughs> It's true. It's true. And y'all see, like, I fold the shirts and I fold the pants. But I'm also, like, I am not a person that does the, like, seamless folds and everything is wrinkle-free and stuff. No, y'all. I'm the, you know what, if you even have to take your hands and roll it up in a ball and then put it in your drawer, that's good enough for me. I would be so awesome as a mom because my kids would be like, wow. We just have to throw our comforter over our bed. We don't have to tuck in the sheets. And I'd be like, yeah, I don't care. Because <laughs> I don't. This ain't a hotel. And you can come and go anytime you want. <laughs> you know, like Hotel California. Anyways, okay, bye. All right, y'all, living room's picked up. I'm going to wipe down everything with this Mrs. Myers rose scent. This smells amazing. Um, so I'm going to wipe everything down, vacuum, and then I am going to, well, you know what? These curtains are like hairy from the cats. So before I vacuum, I'm going to take the curtains down put the new curtains up then vacuum I know y'all like seeing Miss Chloe hi sweetie she's so happy today um she was looking out the window for a while because it's open so now she's just taking her nap
Okay, some of y'all may think this is silly, and then some of y'all are going to be like shaking your head and being like, yep, know exactly what you mean. So if y'all have noticed lately, which maybe you haven't because it's not, this is like the whole point actually, you probably haven't noticed, but I have been wearing, and I just adjusted them, I've been wearing shirts that do not go all the way down past my belly. Um, so y'all can see like my lower belly. If you will, I have an, it's like an apron slash what they call B belly. Um, and I think the apron part is because I used to weigh closer to 330 pounds and I've kept off. I normally do good to stay like 90 pounds down from that, but right now, or no, 100 pounds down from that, but right now I'm about 90 pounds down from that because I don't know, the food just been tasting good lately y'all anyways <laughs> i don't know what that accent was <laughs> that cracked my own self up okay you know how many times i had to clean this thing off because margaret kept jumping in from outside back there um the whole point of me doing the shenanigans is girls ladies and men you know it's okay to show the belly. Everybody knows we have a belly. We're, we're not fooling anybody. And I thought I was fooling people for a long time. I was like, no, I don't have a belly. If I wear a shirt long enough, I don't have a belly. <laughs> but you know what? I think I actually look better wearing clothes that fit me than wearing clothes that hide my body. Because it's nothing to be ashamed of, you know, like... I got a belly, okay? It's all good. So this summer, this spring, I want to see y'all wearing clothes that you want to wear. You wear clothes for you. Don't you wear clothes for nobody else. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't want to see y'all out there looking half naked because I respect you, okay? But, I mean, you get to wear whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> all right, this is cool, y'all, because at first... I was like, I'm just going to put all these hooks on there off camera and then turn the camera back on and show y'all me putting it on the rod. So it comes with these if you wanted to put them on the hook. At first I thought that was a requirement, but then when I opened the package, it has the little loops right here. So I can just put this along that rod, which is nice. So that's what I'm going to do. These are beautiful. Also super heavy i don't think i've ever had curtains this nice before most of the time i get them at walmart and they're just fine you know i've also uh that green curtain that i'm gonna drape across the um this is so funny looking drape across my doorway in my bathroom i got that one from goodwill all right <laughs> okay so now I can just do the whole thing on camera. So here's the packaging. It just says curtains and drapes. That may be the brand. It says made in China. This is beige. Oh, okay. Zero B. There we go. That's probably the brand. So that helps me. I will probably have these linked in the description box. It is an affiliate link. And these are the 50 by 84. All right, and then they also came with these. Whoops, these right here. I just keep looking outside and seeing all the trees cut down. It's a really good feeling to look out there and, you know, be happy that it's all pretty much cleared out. That shed is going to be demoed, so that's pretty exciting. Oh, 
Bella. Alright, so this curtain rod is bent, so I'm just going to go to Walmart and get another one, but it's going to be fine for today. Um, the I went to put the curtains on, and I noticed how far away the um, each end of the rod is. Like, it's way too far away when it comes to where the window is. So, while... Erin is going to come over here and move the bracket closer to the window so that these curtains look better on here. I am going to be doing the dishes and then putting the dishes away. So y'all will see kind of me do this and then we're going to cut to the dishes and then we'll just come back to the curtains once they're done. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Margaret just jumped in this house from the outside. That's insane. All right, so I like how this one looks because the rod itself is a little bit shorter over here. For some reason, the rod over here is much longer. Um, so I am going to unscrew that black hook right there, move it in a little bit, and then put the curtain on. That way it's more, you know, closer together in the middle like this one. I can't get over these. I just feel like I live in a farmhouse right now and I love it. <laughs> I love it. I feel like I need to go in the kitchen and make some sweet tea. Okay, so I thought it was going to be me earlier when I was talking to y'all in person, but I did get Aaron to go over there and do it because I went to go get like just a, like a, you know, a hand tool. <laughs> so silly i i'm laughing because i'm wrong um basically a screwdriver okay not a drill this is not a drill <laughs> y'all my brain sometimes it just has a mind of its own you know anyway i'm trying so hard to be serious I feel like if I was in church right now, I'd be getting pinched in the arm. And those, when you're at church and people pinch you, oh my goodness, that hurts. That's worse than getting a spanking, to be honest. Okay. I do not like getting pinched. That's for sure. I wore a grain on St. Patrick's Day just to prevent that, even though I'm a grown woman and nobody at the grocery store would have pinched me. <laughs> Isn't it funny how kids do things, but then, like, if you walked up to someone not wearing green in the grocery store and pinched them, like, I would be interested to know what their reaction was. Um, yeah, so Erin's doing that. I'm going to do these dishes. We didn't have a huge amount of dishes because um, he did them last, and then uh, all that was left was, like, some silverware, and I was like, well, I'll do the silverware because um, he had done a lot of dishes. So, it's my turn today. We skipped a day. So, this is what we're working with. Not too bad. A few regular dishes, some silverware, and a pan from last night's dinner, and a tea jug. Because we did, in fact, make tea before. Well, Aaron did. I, I never make tea. He's a tea maker. Um, anyway, I guess it's good that I'm talking to y'all because this is a lot of clips dishes i did move the camera around a little bit but um i wanted to keep this video a good length for those of you that are up cleaning and um 
So I did most of the clips at like three times as fast as I was actually doing it instead of the regular like let's say I filmed 12 minutes of footage I would normally knock it down to times four so that it would only be like a minute and a half. Uh, but now I'm like, well, if I was watching a video of someone cleaning, I want it to be longer so that I don't have to keep going and finding other videos to watch. So I kind of just, when I'm filming, I, I think about what y'all would like best and then that's how I film and also how I edit too. So I know y'all like the talking, so I just find things to talk about. It's so funny. Um, it was earlier today, I was telling Erin, I was like, sometimes I just, it was basically me thinking about, sometimes I don't want to talk, and then I was like, I bet you don't believe me though, because I talk all the time, <laughs> but trust me, even I get talked out. And then I'm like, oh, I, I don't even think I could talk today. Like this morning I woke up and I, I was thinking, oh, I, I don't think I can talk today. And then I go to turn on the camera and I'm like, hello, guys. <laughs> Anywho, I'm just going to finish up the dishes. And then I actually do think I pick up the camera and talk to y'all again, like in the video, because it always feels good whenever I watch people that talk to the camera throughout the video, even if they do a voiceover, because then I just feel like it's a lot more like in real time. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes when I watch my own videos, if it's just the music and, and me speed cleaning, I'm like... It feels like something's missing. <laughs> I don't know. Like the. I feel more invested, I guess. I don't know. Or immersed in the video if somebody pops in and actually like shows their face. I think that's really cool when they do that. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm going to be quiet for a few minutes. And then I'll come back.
Today I'm using the Barkeeper's Friend powder on the sink. This is really good for stainless steel. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come away. My room is a mess, it could use a hand, my favorite Alright, so we got the curtain fixed. Um I and we're we're gonna repaint. I had done some what do you call it? Just like filling in holes, nail holes, and then I took a white paint and painted over it thinking it was the original white paint that I used on the walls and it wasn't. So, um, we, we do have paint to do the ceilings and, um, we're also going to do the white, white walls just to refresh anyways, cause they're looking a little bit, a little bit creamier, you know? <laughs> um, anyway, so that's good. I just need to straighten up this room and get it all back in order just moving furniture and throwing away stuff and then I'm gonna wash those curtains and uh, Aaron might want to use them in his office so that would be good and then we'll finish up in the kitchen too I've got like random things out it's not too bad at all because I did recently clean in here a little bit um, this thing I'll see if Aaron wants to do something with it um, you know, I feel like I could use this outside. Like, stick it in the ground. Down here. You know, stick that in the ground. And then I could hang plants off of this. And then also have, like, some little plants, like, here. And then screw this to the wall or, you know, connect it somehow to the wall outside. That would be fun. So, I'll just find a place to put this for today. I'll, I'll hold on to it. Cause I think one of y'all actually suggested that to me. Which I do appreciate y'all's suggestions. Because um, sometimes they're really helpful and good ideas. I think one of y'all might have mentioned that to me already. With this. Instead of getting rid of it. And I could like paint it if I want to. Or leave it like that. Either way. Back in the fight, this can't be a surprise. I think I'll let it slide. I'm sleepwalking through all of my problems. No, I can't make it through. Every night is the same. I keep running fast, left and right. Wondering where my head's gone. I'm sleepwalking through all of my problems.
starlit sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Beneath the moonlight, self touch your hand in mine, it gets me every time. Oh, shoot, y'all. She was just right here. I have the evidence. I've done wiped this off twice today, and she just did it again. You little stinker. I see you, yes. She jumps way down there. It's further than it looks. And then sits right here. <laughs> Don't worry, all of our windows are getting switched out this year. She's, no wonder. Oh, she just got a grasshopper. No wonder she's got dirt on her. <laughs> Lost in the city lights Our love's electric right You make me feel All right, the kitchen and the living room are pretty straightened up. So we are gonna move on to the bedroom. I need to make my bed. I gotta pick up a few things. And then all that laundry that y'all saw me fold in the beginning of the video, we have got to put it away. And then we're also going to do some other things while we're in there. So let's go ahead and do all that.
All right, now we may be able to do both of these things in April, but I would like to know what y'all are more excited to see first in case we need to put off one until May. So option one for April is landscaping with more bricks around the mobile home, um, mulch, and um, I'm, I don't know if I want to get my flowers until May because I think our last possible frost is like April 17th or around that time. But I just want to make sure that I don't buy any flowers prematurely and then they, you know, die. <laughs> so anyway, um, but so we could have a landscaping video plus porch or porch and shed what would y'all want to what would you rather see oh and this is why i was thinking that it would need to be split up into two because we also want to buy patio furniture and when i was there um, the other week i kind of pretty much made it up in my mind that it's a good quality one and it's def around this time because it's this season um it's probably definitely going to be around a thousand which is totally okay with me uh, because i'm really excited to get one um so yeah i don't know we may be able to do everything but if not we'll just break it up into two different months so the shed and the porch and the uh, patio furniture i could do one month and then the landscaping i could do the next month i may do the landscaping in may that way i can just buy the flowers and everything all at once and i don't have to wait so let me know what your thoughts are on all that Alright, I was about to put a curtain over that door frame, but our curtain rod, the tension rod we have, is too long. I pushed it all the way in, and it's it's too long. But um, the reason why I'm even sharing this is because, personally, Erin and I do not mind that there's not a door here. That We actually took the door off because it opened... Um, and the door came inward. So all of this room that we have, the door was always in the way. So we just removed the door. The only reason I was gonna put a curtain up is because some people mentioned like, why is there no door? You should have a door, blah, blah. So anyways, um, yeah, I feel like this is just one of those things that I'm gonna s decide to do what I want instead. <laughs> Hopefully y'all don't mind. I mean, I heard this phrase, um, and I shared it the other day, because I get a lot of comments of you guys saying that you want to start a channel, but maybe your house looks a certain way, and you're afraid that people are going to make comments. The truth is, people are going to make comments. That is just part of the job. But, keep this in mind. Those that matter don't mind. Those that mind don't matter. Now, sometimes people can um, mind and it's for good reason. It's to like keep us safe and stuff, you know, like of course I'm going to mind if you get in a car and you've drunk two things of beer or whatever. I'm going to mind and I also matter, you know, but like in some cases, if someone says you need to cover this because in their house they would want a door covered, 
it doesn't really matter, you know, like at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. Um, it's just like a preference. So, um, with the starting your channels, start your channel, just do it. The reward you get, um, is well worth the risk in coming across a negative comment you know it's totally okay I would much rather have people tell me that they don't like the way my house looks and still have thousands of wonderful people that are in a community with me than not start at all you know so my house didn't look anything like this when I started my channel and one of my first like cleaning videos um, before I had painted the bedroom walls that dark blue color if you've been here that long they were like this dark blue pillow um I had I had mold on my walls I called it mildew and that's because I didn't know that mildew and mold are like they're all mold just at different degrees um and I was filming myself clean it off of the thing and I showed y'all the mold that is on the door frame in the living room because I'm not ashamed of the house that I live in and I know that good people are not going to say negative things if you um, are washing your walls that have mildew on them okay only people that have either never had to experience that or just don't have anything nice to say those, those are the only ones that are going to think less of you if you're washing a wall that has mildew on it and you see it didn't stop me from posting videos and at the time I think I had 3,000 subscribers which is a lot and now we're getting closer to 17,000 which is I can't believe I just said that like that is actually insane in the membrane <laughs> anyways thank y'all for subscribing all of you um Anywho, I'm going to get back to this because I have got to go to the store. It is probably getting closer to 7 p.m. The, the light, it's still being bright outside, trips me up with the timing. Um, but I'm going to put all these towels away, switch out my hand towel, and then probably drape that blanket across of here. And I'll just fold this. If we change our mind, we can, we'll have a curtain to put there. Um, and we can use this. We can use this somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> switching these it makes more sense to just have the washcloths flat and then put my makeup stuff in this basket that way I can stick that right there and I have all this space now to put my towels and washcloths I also started folding my washcloths um like squares the the day I got Aaron to fold a bunch of laundry with me, because we had like three loads of laundry probably, um, and I did not want to do them all by myself. <laughs> so, I was like, come help me. Anyways, I noticed how like when they're folded like this, they stay, you know, straight like that. Instead, like with these, I had to put them in the basket or else... Um, they would kind of like roll all over the place. So, I just, I'm still learning to like muscle memory. <laughs> so, I'm not as fast folding them that way, but I'll get there. I did the same thing with the towels too. I just folded them in threes. <laughs> Aaron's in the doorway. He just cracked me up. That tension rod was too long for our door frame. So, I told him, you know what? I don't even mind because I like having it open. Oh, okay. That was a long one. Yeah. Oh, did uh, y'all hear that? He put an awning together. That reminds me, I need to go over there and show y'all where I put 
my lantern. And every time I say lantern, I think of all my lanta. All right. I would say don't judge me, but I know some people will. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyways, y'all crack me up. So, these are all my necklaces. <laughs> from where I used to just have them hang on that other thing. So, now they're just kind of like this. I need to keep them straight though. That's why I had them propped up there. I'm not going to leave them right here. Okay. I'll just stick it there for now. Taking this off. I know this is Valentine's -y. But it's so pretty. I love pink. Okay. Anywho. Here's my other one. I switched these out. Honestly, when I feel like when I'm wiping my hands off. Because I use these. These are not decorative towels. These are dry your hand off towel. I know some people put them up and you're not supposed to touch them. But. In my house. You can use the hand towels. <laughs> Ironically, I have one right here too that I just leave right there and I use it as well. So I've got two different ones to choose from. And then put these back just for now. <laughs> there are so many times where I just stop talking about whatever I was telling y'all. One being the hand towels, when do I wash them? Whenever I'm drying my hands off and it starts to feel like I'm making my hands dirty, that is when I switch them out with a new one. I'm so silly. All right, so I don't have any flowers in here right now, but I'm about to take all, all my Easter decor down after, um, oh my goodness, tomorrow. <laughs> and when I do that, I will put something right there. Um, I'm probably just going to wait a little bit to decorate for summer though because I normally just pull out my 4th of July stuff with my summer stuff and it's a little too early for 4th of July, right? Okay, so I have this here. There's nothing in it right now, but I have in the past put like pumpkins in there because I think those look really cute on the sides one year i put a giant like santa in there so i kind of just used the inside of that for seasonal decor and i love how it looks look how it pops off of this right here i think that looks great and this is actually like a silvery but this is making this look more gold i like that little illusion and it even kind of matches this right here so, yeah, I do just have this here. You know, I'm not like, I have aesthetics, obviously. I like pretty things, and I have, like, somewhat of a theme going in the house. But I also am very practical, so my house is never going to look intentionally like a staged home because I just don't live that way. Alright, bedroom's clean. I didn't make this look all fancy. <laughs> because practicality says it's already late. And we're going to be in the bed within some hours. So, I just always like to make the bed though. That way when we get in it, everything is straight. You know? And nothing's all curled up. All right, y'all, that wraps up today's video. Miss Margaret, that window is way too tall. Oh, She's trying to go out the kitchen window. Um, I will see y'all back here tomorrow. That's what I was going to tell y'all. So tomorrow's video is going to be a little bit different um, because it's Easter. My hair is being silly. Tomorrow's video is going to be a big cook with me we're gonna have Easter together I wanted to do this because I know some of y'all um, like we are your family and so we can spend Easter together and um, those of you that have a place to go cherish those people give them hugs and um, you know I know sometimes family events can cause people to like argue and stuff but just remember that they are family and sometimes that's all people have and sometimes people don't even have that so we'll be all's family 
tomorrow we're gonna cook a lot of stuff we're gonna have fun and it's gonna be a super laid back and not much editing so i'll be here tomorrow at 4 p.m bye